know, again, it's uh, it's always an interesting time. Uh, the second day, uh, you see stare at a lot of different names that uh, that are still on the board, and uh, you know, you're sitting waiting where we're picking. Obviously, you got to wait a little while to uh, to get to. And um, you know, we're excited when you know someone that you have you know, on your list higher than uh, you know. Uh, Obviously, maybe some other situations, so when you get a get chance to get them, it's good. And then, as the draft unfolds, you uh, you, know, you start to see different things, and uh, people really start you know, going in lots of different directions. You know, so uh, you, know, you, uh, you know, you talk through some different things at the at the table about who might be you know coming up, and uh, you know, then when you get a guy that you talk about, you're excited. So Simon Lundmark was your first pick of, of the day. Is, I think he mentioned that he had met with you guys like three different times. So yeah. there was obviously a lot of interest in him. Is that an example of a guy maybe you thought might not still be there at that pick? Yeah, no, for sure. So we, we, he was someone that we obviously uh, you know, were high on. Um, you know, you, you have to make different decisions at different points in time. You know, whether even to try to move up and take some guys like that, or you know, risk them not being there. But um, you know, we were very happy that uh, that he was sitting there. He's uh, you know, a, you know, good sized defenseman that can uh, can skate and and uh, moves the puck well, playing in a you know, in a men's men's league over there. He's got to fight for his ice time, but um, you know, the uh, the development path seems to be in, in good shape there. You mentioned Kevin. I think he's under contract for him two more years. That well, yeah, he is, but it's a so when you're in a double IHF type of um, um, country, you know, then there's different rules that go into that. Niskanen was the guy that there was a point in time where he was projected even maybe a first round pick. Yeah, but he had a real injury plague. Like yeah, so play that was one major injury that kept him out for you know for the most part. And, you know, it seems to you know be in, in a good. Uh, in a, in a good spot, uh, he's skating and doing everything that needs to be done. Um, you know, so again, there's there, that, that we're hoping that's an example of, a, of a, an undervalued type of pick where you know he uh, he falls because of injury, and if you happen to have had uh, viewings on him at the right time and, and uh, you know get a good feel for it, that you take that opportunity.